best free screen recording software is in today's video. If you're excited for this, please go and smash a big fat like. I am Tutorial Tucker. Welcome to this awesome channel. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. This took me so long to make and I cover all aspects of this software. How to get it, how to install it and how to set it up basically and get the best settings for screen recording. So yeah, make sure you go and do all of that if you're a youtuber and want to get more views make sure you check out TubeBuddy. it's insane for ranking videos i've got a link in the description and also i've got a brand new youtube course i've recently just brought out make sure you go and check it out it's insane and yeah go check that out but yeah without any further ado let's jump straight into this video of how you can go and get the best free screen recording software so everybody as you can see we're now on my computer and i'll be showing you the best program for recording your screen so let's jump straight into this so all i do is simply go something called streamlabs OBS. Now I'll throw a link down below so you can jump straight to it but even though you know the software I would really recommend watching this video throughout because I'm breaking down the whole installation process and all the settings you're going to need. So this is it and um, this will work on Mac as well which is really cool so it will work on PC and Mac and all you want to do is click download Streamlabs. It's free like I said before. This is a really good software and let's just go and download it so click on it there and it's going to go down for me, for me for Chrome it just goes down here and as you can see it's loading so it is a basically it's quite a big program um, but it shouldn't take too long to download so wait for it to download and then just make sure it's saved in your downloads folder and then I'll come back once it's going to download it for me quickly I want to add in this is mainly known as a streaming software but this does still work for recording um, and it's a really good screen recorder as well but it is mainly known for for the, the live streaming capabilities but you can add so much to it using recordings as well so it will save you time in video editing so if you aren't that good at editing you can you can add so much stuff like overlays and stuff for recording your videos which is super super useful so yeah it's not only known for the streaming it is also known for recording so mine's just gone and finished and all you want to do is click on it just down here and then it should come up with a installation screen uh, click yes and then you'll have this here so i've got i'm on an ultra wide monitor so i may have to drag stuff back over so if you only see half of something don't worry but anyway go read through this and make sure you agree to it i've read it down before so yeah i agree and make sure you go and install it the place you want it to be so you can browse but i, I have mine in my program files click install and then it's just going to go through the whole installation process just like any old software um, and yeah so this is another way of OBS like Streamlabs is using the OBS platform but this is like a really new version of OBS which I'm starting to use more I still use both um, but I do recommend this one as well so yeah, I'll wait for this to install and then we'll jump into the best settings for recording. And once it's finished you'll be got to buy this screen so then go and make sure that's ticked run Streamlabs OBS and click finish and then you're going to be getting a pop-up so I think it's going to go to half of my screen but we'll see uh, what happens so wait a minute it's just launching the software it may take a couple seconds or minutes even when it's the first time launching it um so yeah as you can see oh it's going in the right position right so now it's just loading as you can see it's basically setting up all the settings it's the first time opening it up um and yeah so wait a minute and then you'll be greeted by a load of settings I'll break it all through you because it may get confusing and uh, yeah we're just gonna have to wait a couple minutes so when you first open up Streamlabs OBS, you actually be asked to um, choose a theme, but because I've already used this program before, I have not had the option for that, but that doesn't matter, um, but I simply went for the Dark Matter by VBI, but this is mainly for streaming, I mean you may still like this in your in your videos, but I personally am not going to, so all I do to remove this is click Dark Matter by VBI, and then go to Scenes, and then it's just going to load you a fresh um, Streamlabs, so as you can see, this is it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go and show you the best settings to do, and then I'm I'm going to show you how to go and set up um, the scenes and your sources which is like your screen recording and everything like that so let's jump straight into this all you want to do is come down here to the bottom left and click on the little cog and then it's going to bring up our settings so let's go through these and I'll tell you all the best ones so for general that's pretty much fine you can do these more personal stuff um, but it's not too important for stream obviously this isn't a streaming tutorial but we make one very soon so for this you can just leave it empty um, yeah that's all you need to know so you can have a uh, custom streaming server or streaming services but yeah obviously I'm leaving that so the first next thing you want to do is go to your output now this is important um, there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna go through in here so let's jump straight into this so you've got your two output modes I recommend usually doing advanced just because you have way more sort of um, sort of decisions you can make because then you have way more options for when you're trying to record and stream so even though we're not actually streaming these settings still do make a difference so we are gonna be changing these 
So for encoder, I do personally use, I would recommend the X264. And then you want to come down here. You want to change your rate control CBR quite a lot higher because you want that you aren't actually streaming it to the internet, so you can change it to literally um a quite a lot higher. So I'm gonna go for 10, uh, 10 000, that's pretty much fine for me. And then here you can actually choose. Um, so this is basically you can choose how much CPU usage you're gonna have. Um, so this all depends on what computer you have. So if you've got you know a pretty um not a very powerful PC, you go in ultra fast, and that will be you won't you'll use less CPU. But it also depends on what you're recording. So if you would say recording a game, you probably want to do ultra fast. But if you're just doing something like in Chrome, you can go for super fast. So yeah, I'd recommend just simply using super fast. Um, and if you really have a not very powerful PC, I would go on ultra fast. And once you've done that streaming setting, you want to come to the recording setting and simply make sure it's on a standard and then change where you want the recording path to be and make sure this is set to either MP4 or dot move. But to be honest, I'd recommend MP4, but it is also down to sort of custom preferences um, simply because you it depends what type of file you want to have at the end of the at the end of the recording session. Um, and then for recording, I just recommend using software X264. And then in audio, you can go and select your audio um, devices you want to have. So as you can see, you can have your desktop audio. So I've just got mine on default because I want my default desktop audio to be recorded. And then you can have your mic. So this is my microphone right here. Um, obviously, I've got my webcam mic and make sure it is set on your actual microphone because otherwise the quality is not going to be as good. So yeah, they're the main things. And then you've got video, obviously. And here, basically, this is really important for me because I use an ultra wide monitor. I need to make sure this is set at 1920 by 1080, just normal HD. And you can have you you also have your output scaled resolution make sure that's set on what you want to be actually recording so i want to be um, recording in hd 1080p but if you only want to record in 720p have um, 1280 by 720 so i'll record in 1080 so i'm going to go for that one and also i like to record in 60 fps as well so i'm going to go and increase that to 60 but 30 is fine for most people i think i'm going to be doing a more of a different video for if you have a less powerful computer because i think that does change the whole settings for you but these are just sort of the basics and then in advance, it's all pretty standard. You can change this to RGB, which is a lot better if you're only recording videos, but NV12 is pretty important if you're um, streaming. So yeah, they're the main settings you want to have. Um, th that's how it names your files here. So if that matters to you, so it'll basically just do the, the year and the time here. Um, but obviously you can change that as well. And then you can go and click on done. So yeah, they're the main settings you need to do. And as you can see, this screen has now got a bit smaller because I've gone and changed the canvas. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is add a new scene. So click that and I'm simply name this recording. So click on that plus like I just did and enter recording just like so, and then click done. And now it's added a new scene. So I can flip between these, but I just like having a specific one for recording. And then you wanna come here your sources and simply add the plus so now you can go and add any source you want so for obviously mainly for for recording your screen you do display capture but you could do game capture or you can even do i think you can do yeah you can do window capture so you could capture a specific um part of your screen so for now i'm just going to do display capture and because i've got two monitors you'll need to decide that in the next um in the next section so click display capture and click add source and now you can go and choose the name so i'm just going to do um monitor click add source and then you go and choose your monitor so as you can see this is my uh, main monitor you can see on my recording stuff i'm going to go for my second one because that is a te just a normal 19 by 1080 and you should once it loads you should be able to see my audacity um recording my voice so yeah you can click done and then that is how it works essentially that is your main your main screen recording but you can add so much other stuff with this which i'm going to quickly break down now so if you want to say add your webcam you simply click the plus and you can go and add video capture device now this is absolutely game changing because you can literally go and have your webcam in your monitor without having to edit which i think is so so useful because so many people don't want to have to edit so and spend so much time syncing it all up when this will do it all for you so click add source and i've got my um, my webcam here so currently my webcam is not actually up um but that's where it will be so i can click done and it's just a black screen currently but i can obviously change the size of that and you can drag these around and when you're using the preview to select you just double click like that and then you can drag it around but i'm just going to keep it up here for now because that's what i'd want it but i'm not actually going to use it for the it's currently just um just a black screen so yeah 
To remove that, you click on the little line here, and then I click OK, and boosh! Now that's just my current monitor recording, and you can add so much more, and I want that to resize, so to do that, right click, and then just go, right click, transform, and then fit to screen, and it's going to make it perfectly fit your screen. And to start recording, you simply come down to this recording thing here, and now we're recording our screen, the count is going up. Uh, I'm double rec recording my PC, so I'm not going to do it for too long, because uh, otherwise it's going to put a lot of, you know, power on the PC, but yeah, that's how you record, and then you'll find your file where you saved it so mine's obviously in my um in my video folder i saved it so yeah if you have found this video useful please go down below hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and i'll catch you in the next one peace